Hi guys, and you're my turn. back to Rage, and she now she's doing the friend thing. <laughs> uh, today is a fashion edition of Rage, and uh, you know we all we, in the first half of the show we talked about. It's a fashion and tech. Fashion, yeah. See, you 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 bring the fashion, I bring the tech. Um, yeah, we bring it on. Yeah. So in the first part of the show, we actually talked about the LG Prada phone. It's LG, and LG the Prada, Prada two and the Prada Link, which is this a Bluetooth enabled watch. And it's on my hand, and it looks okay, what? Anyway, right now we're gonna talk about. Uh, we're gonna look at other stylish phones. Okay. Now, moving on. Uh, uh, KDDI Corporation is a Japanese telecommunications operator formed in October two thousand. What's and that? And AU by KDDI is a mobile phone brand in Japan marketed by KDDI Corporation. Now, uh, the KDDI Neon by Naoto Fukasawa well, came I'm out so in two thousand and six. Fukusawa. I'm so impressed. Fukusawa is a Japanese industrial designer and a professor at Musashino Art University. Now he has also designed Muji's CD player, among other things. Oh, I love Muji. Yep. Yep. Now the neon, uh, the neon is the name of the phone. The neon comes in white, black, and baby blue colors. Nice. It is said that the phone's rectangular body boasts sleek, clean lines, and its Ooh. curved edges make this flip phone a comfort Flip-tool. to hold. Uh. Now, just some specs are: it's uh, approximately 125 grams, which is actually lighter than the LG Prada. Uh-huh. It's a 1.3 megapixels. It has a 50 MB oh, that's external a lot less, memory. Yep. Mm. Uh, there's a standby time of 260 hours and continuous call time of 180 minutes. You can actually check email, email? on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, it comes with a desktop stand which acts as also a charger. That is quite cool. Yep. Now, one stylish feature is the clean front cover of the phone and it has actually built-in red LEDs. Like this, that, was, that, that was super cool. Yep. Now, it makes the super plastic cool. casing in front become like an external the large screen. screen. Like yep. just now the email and exactly. then this one the time. Yep. That is so cool. When it's docked, uh, the external screen functions as a clock or music player and even displays little designs yep, like this. As you can see. Yeah, it's very cute. Kawaii in that. Mm-hmm. However, like all good technological things... Yep, it is only available in Japan. So, sorry. We were just teasing you guys. But, yep, it only works uh, within the J- Japanese network. So, if you're ever in Japan or living in Japan... And you're tuning to Razzy TV. Get uh, this for get me. This phone. You probably already <laughs> have the phone already. Yeah. Get this for me. I want. You, you can't use it in Singapore network. Uh, anyway, no. this this phone actually reminds me of like uh, the Nintendo DS. You know, doesn't it? No, like, it when it's it closed, does. when it's closed, it looks like the Nintendo DS. It actually does, but I'm sure it's a lot smaller than the Nintendo DS. It's much smaller, much lighter. But uh, it looks really cool. I mean, right down here, it can even pass off as a card holder. It's yeah. that small. I, I would choose it. I would choose it over an iPhone. What do you think? Uh, I would because of the cool factor, the external, you know, the the casing thing, which actually displays it. Mm-hmm. Wow, mm-hmm. anything with bright blinking lights for me as an alien, oh, I like. Um, now, still in Japan, the SoftBank Fun Phone Mobile Phone Series, which is uh, another Japanese mobile phone service, uh, and, uh, the Japanese mobile phone service provider SoftBank, sorry, has recently teamed up with the sexy Kumi Koda, which yeah. is a which she is a popular Japanese female urban and R and B singer and songwriter from Kyoto. Kyoto, yeah, she actually even beat uh, Ayumi Hamasaki. Yep. Now Yo, Kumi yeah, Koda, yeah, she has been called a fashion icon by many for her erotic cute. Style. You are liking this, uh, yeah, aren't I, you? I chose the picture, so I'm liking it. <laughs> now, she has lent her face and her name to many advertisement campaigns, and she is one of the stars who have teamed up with SoftBank to design her own line of hand phones. Um, she, um, our camera is kind of like melting down because our cameraman is heating up. <laughs> He's like nice <laughs> Okay, I think we should move on to the to the phones rather than her. Okay. Now the phones are targeted at the tween tweeny girl market. Or Definitely. Tweens, yeah. Look at that, it's pink. Yeah. Brian, will you carry this phone? No, I wouldn't, not even pay me like a thousand dollars. Now her celebrity designer element extends to the menus, the wallpaper as you can see, uh call and mail indicators and the phone pouch you can actually see on the right side. Now the bright okay, pink I, flip I think- phone. It's comes in three cute. designs, strawberry, cherry, and candy, and pumps. I see why. The strawberry has strawberries, the cherry has cherries, cherries and, and the, the candy, candy and pumps have candy and pumps. And pumps. Yeah. Wow. So very literal, <laughs> ri- literal very designs. Literal. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't get the phone, but you know, uh, it, it seems like it's just an, a pretty uh, average phone. It's more like a design element. I think it's more the design thing. I think phones. like uh, one of our guests in the previous week, he said, you know, a lot of the designer phones, it's just the design element of the Brand phone and not it? yeah it's not like the product from the beginning 
you know, they conceptualize Okay, everything. we should move on to now the Black Diamond. Yes. If we're trying to bring it closer to home. Now, this yes. is the Black Diamond. Uh, the Black Diamond is designed by Jaron Go. I thought you were talking about yourself for a while. No, you know, yeah. like Black okay. Diamond. Yeah. Bring Flatter- it home. Flattery you know? will get you everywhere. Anyway, uh-huh. now Jaron Go is a Singaporean industrial designer who originally designed this I'm phone for Sony key. Ericsson. Sorry. Now, ultimately, Swiss diamond retailer company VIPN would make this super stylish phone. Mm. Now, boasting OLED technology for its screen, now OLED is organic light like emitting it. diode. Uh, what does that mean? It's an emissive electroluminescent layer composed of a film of organic compounds. You lost me at emissive. Yep. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, the case for this phone is made up of a layer of polycarbonate, titanium and diamonds. Diamonds with a are... Finish cladding. Okay, so for the diamonds, maybe. Oh, there you see. Yep, the diamonds. It's are there. one diamond. Now the black diamond mobile phone comes with the following features. It has a quad, quad band. band. Oh, so that means you can use it in all the different countries. Yep, it, it supports Windows Mobile Five uh, OS for the phone. Uh, wow. It's a touch sensitive keypad, four megapixel camera, and uh, it's 128 MB RAM. Now the phone is finished with titanium and is diamond encrusted, lending to its 300,000 USD price tag. Oh. Two hundred thousand US dollars. So there's three and five zeros behind people. Three yeah. and five zeros. And no decimal point. It's okay. one of the top ten most expensive phones in the world. Now there's only five of those phones made. And only was, five. Only five made in two thousand and seven, and, and they were all sold for three hundred thousand US. Also, so if you know someone who owns that phone, call her, not me. I do. <laughs> Yeah, nice one. One. Okay, this one phone you might like, and I actually I do like this phone. Funny this enough, this. even this though this is this is a phone by Chanel. Chanel, I Coco like. Chanel, and it's called the Choco. Now the Choco, Choco mobile phone is a concept phone, so it's not even been made yet. It's not mm. even like mass market. But yet. we would support it being produced for sure. Yep. Now the phone was designed by Fred de Jarrell. Because it's je in French. G is, is je in French. Je? Yeah. Je? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, yeah. so Fred de Jaril, who is a designer specializing in industrial design and fashion accessories and apparel. Mm-hmm. Now see, uh, this phone, the Choco by Coco Chanel, is essentially a, a slide, slide phone, phone made from glass. glass. Okay. Or okay. glass-like material. Now the mm. phone works by integrating an optical fiber system that displays images between two glass parts. There are 12 micro lighter fibers that throw image components to what the glass. What are micro li- lighter? You know, I'll have to get back in touch with you with that. Uh, so you know, oh, I know. They are the things that, like, you know, usually they are the stars. Uh-huh. You know, in the ceiling, sometimes you see little points. Uh, like in Zoop, they have those it's thin little fisherman wire looking threads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. Yes. Um, now, those <laughs> uh, lighter, fib- lighter fibers, uh, they offer quite good luminosity and keep the mobile phone concept as light as possible. That is pretty Now, cool. all lights only appear when you open the phone by pushing removable part on the side of it. Well, the name... Why the name Choco? Well, apparently when the phone is closed, it looks like a chocolate piece. Although, like this piece of chocolate will be made from white, black, or yellow gold surfaces. Dude, it's made from gold? Yep, and like glass. And See, I think it's really cool. I would I would actually buy this phone even though it's like... I don't know. It's a okay, phone. how much it, would it you pay very, for it though? It seems very girly. See, for the technology alone, right, and, and, what, and how it looks and what it looks like, I would pay... I don't know, I'll, I'll pay a thousand for that. Thousand? Yeah, I would... Okay, but like, it's made from white, black, or yellow gold, you know? So if white, probably, gold, black, maybe gold, I can, yellow gold? I can gold? only afford like, like, number three on the phone. <laughs> maybe when the sterling silver version comes out, then I will buy lah. Or, or, me. or maybe bronze. Or bronze. Bronze, Copper. bronze or pink. Thin, thin. Nickel, nickel. Uh, nickel I'll buy nickel. Nickel, nickel then maybe, maybe I can afford it. Yeah. Put like the number one and number three. <laughs> the, the white, black, or yellow gold, I think maybe cannot lah. Okay, of all the four phones that we featured today, which would you... Buy, not the Japanese one lah. The Which Kumi, one? Kumi Kumi Kura. Uh, I I will one. I will probably either go for the black diamond. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I probably won't buy it myself. I will find the person who bought it. <laughs> I would buy the neon because it looks like the Nintendo DS and. Oh, uh, that's it's, cool. It's simple phone, you know. I, I don't like complicated phones, so I would definitely get a neon. But you know, it's only available in Japan. It doesn't even work in. It can Singapore be nice. Network. You can put it there and have it as a clock. Yeah, a really expensive clock because I'll have to import it from Japan. Well, think about it. You, uh, there are lots of people who probably have spent more on clocks. True, true, true. Um, so it's a clock that you can use in Japan as a phone. <gasps> that is right. I know. So somebody got to go to Japan for holiday. Find me a Japanese girlfriend. Find me a, a Kimi Oh, Koda. that one we should speak to um, Mei Chun. Yes. She can speak Japanese Kumi and I'm sure she can 
totally, totally introduce you to some hot chicks. Okay, well, the phone that we featured today was the Prada LG and... Um, the Prada Link. The Prada, and the Prada Link, so yeah. Hopefully, Which is cool, because now I can reject. Hopefully we swayed you into buying a phone or not, it's up to so you. So if I reject calls from work, you know why. Yeah, because it's probably from me. Okay, bye guys. <laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs>